Take a moment and look at a clock. Notice its face, the hands gliding steadily, marking each passing second. You see the hands moving, numbers shifting, and the seconds ticking by in a relentless, unbroken march. Each tick is a tiny step forward, never pausing, never turning back. This is our most basic understanding of time. A straight line, always moving forward, carrying us from the past into the future. It feels simple, almost natural, like a road stretching endlessly ahead. We're passengers on this road, always moving forward, never back. No matter how much we wish, we can't turn around or pause the journey. The past is behind us, the future ahead. This idea is so intuitive, it shapes how we live, plan, and remember. It's the foundation of our daily experience. But what if that clock is lying? What if our sense of time is just a convenient illusion, a story we tell ourselves to make sense of change? Science has shattered our illusions before. We once believed Earth was the center, that the universe was eternal and unchanging. Now some scientists are asking us to question the very flow of time itself. Could everything we know about time be wrong? This isn't just science fiction. It's a real question at the heart of modern physics, challenging our deepest assumptions. We have two sets of rules. Einstein's relativity, which describes the grand dance of gravity and the cosmos and quantum mechanics, which governs the bizarre, unpredictable world of tiny particles. Both are stunningly successful, explaining so much of our universe, but they don't agree on what time truly is or how it works. This crack in physics tells us our picture is incomplete, that something fundamental is missing from our understanding. It's like having two perfect maps of the same island that don't fit together, no matter how hard you try to align them. Some physicists believe that to create a better map, we need to rethink time itself, to imagine it in ways we never have before. What if time, like space, has more than one dimension? What if our journey through time is far stranger than we ever imagined? We call it the arrow of time, an arrow that flies in only one direction just like our lives. No matter how hard we try, we can't turn it around or retrace its path. It's a journey that moves forward, never backward, and shapes everything we experience. You can't unbreak a glass or undo a choice, cause comes before effect, and the past is forever locked behind us. Every action leaves a mark, and every decision sets us on a new path, with no way to return to what was before. This one-way arrow seems like a fundamental law, woven into our language and memories. We talk about moving forward or looking back, and our stories are built on the idea that time only flows one way. Another metaphor, time is a river, flowing ceaselessly, carrying us along. The river never stops and we are passengers swept along by its current. The past is upstream, the future downstream, and we're swept along for the ride. We can remember where we've been but we can't paddle back against the current. This river suggests a single universal now, a comforting thought. It feels as if everyone shares the same present moment, floating together on the same stream. But physics poked holes in this idea over a century ago. The universe it turns out is far stranger than our simple metaphors suggest. Einstein's relativity showed the river of time isn't the same for everyone. Depending on how you move or where you are, your experience of time can change. Travel fast enough and your clock ticks slower. Time stretches and compresses. Gravity too can bend and warp the flow of time, making it pass differently for different people. Time is interwoven with space, forming four-dimensional space-time. Our universe is a fabric where space and time are inseparable, each affecting the other. Your motion through space affects your journey through time. The faster you move, the slower your time flows, compared to someone standing still. The river can have different currents for different observers. Each person's path through space-time is unique, shaped by their speed and gravity's pull. Yet, even in relativity, time remains a single dimension a road you can only move forward on. No matter how the river bends, we can't turn around. You can move freely in space, but not in time. We're free to wander in three dimensions, but time only lets us march ahead. The arrow of time is still there, embedded in Einstein's space-time. It points relentlessly forward, guiding the unfolding of events. Relativity complicated our picture but didn't change time's one-dimensional nature. The mystery of why time flows only one way remains. The deepest mysteries, especially from the quantum world, remain unsolved. Time's true nature is still one of the universe's greatest puzzles waiting to be unraveled. Imagine Einstein's universe as a giant, flexible sheet, space-time. This sheet isn't just a backdrop, it's the very fabric that holds everything together, stretching across the cosmos and connecting every star, planet, and galaxy. Place a bowling ball on it, the sheet curves, creating what we feel as gravity, 
The heavier the object, the deeper the curve and the stronger the pull. Smaller objects roll toward the curve, not because they're being pulled by an invisible force, but because space-time itself is warped and guides their paths. This is general relativity, a masterpiece that explains the orbits of planets, the swirling dance of black holes, and even the ripples of gravitational waves that echo through the universe. Time is part of this cosmic sheet, inseparably woven with space, and it too bends and stretches around massive objects. Now shrink down to the quantum world, a realm where reality becomes a chaotic foam of uncertainty, bubbling with strange possibilities. Here, particles exist not as solid points but as clouds of probability, their exact positions and speeds forever uncertain. They can be in multiple places at once, and even tunnel through barriers that should be impossible to cross, defying our everyday logic. Quantum mechanics governs everything from the tiniest atoms to the technology in your pocket. Bizarre, counterintuitive, yet astonishingly accurate and essential for modern life. Here's the puzzle. Relativity describes the universe on grand, cosmic scales, while quantum mechanics rules the smallest, most fundamental building blocks. But these two theories are incompatible, like two operating systems that simply can't run together on the same computer no matter how hard you try. Try to use one's equations to solve the other's problems and you get nonsense. Mathematical gibberish that makes no sense at all. Both theories break down inside black holes or at the moment of the Big Bang where the universe began, places where our understanding simply falls apart. This incompatibility points to a deeper, hidden layer of reality, a theory of everything that could unite all of physics into a single, elegant framework. Some scientists now suggest the problem isn't with the actors, the particles and forces, but with the stage itself, our very understanding of time and space. Maybe time itself needs to be reimagined, not as a simple line but as something far stranger and more complex than we ever imagined. How can we imagine a different kind of time? Dr. Gunther Kladechka, studying magnetic fields, stumbled on a radical idea. He proposes we've been looking at time all wrong, as a single line. What if time, like space, has three dimensions? Imagine a creature living on a line, unaware of the square or cube it's part of. We're like that with time, experiencing only one dimension, the arrow. Kletechka's theory suggests two other time dimensions are hidden from us, like a garden hose that looks one-dimensional from afar, but is really a tube. We can't travel through these extra time dimensions, but the universe might use them, especially at the quantum level. This isn't just philosophy, it has profound implications. The present isn't a single point, but an expanding surface like a balloon inflating. Our one-dimensional time is just one direction on this surface. The other two time dimensions provide a hidden landscape for quantum mechanics and the universe's deepest properties. It's a radical shift, from a simple line to a complex multi-dimensional volume. What if time is a landscape, not a road? How would three-dimensional time work? Think of our familiar time as the main highway. In 3D time there are side streets and alleys, the other two dimensions. We're stuck on the highway but quantum particles might take the side streets. This could explain their strange behavior. Consider particle mass, in standard physics it's just a number. Kledechka's model suggests a particle's mass comes from its motion through the hidden time dimensions. The energy of this motion via e c 2 appears as mass. Quantum tunneling? A particle might take a shortcut through extra time dimensions, bypassing barriers. It's like finding a tunnel through a mountain instead of climbing over. This framework also reimagines cosmic expansion. Instead of space expanding, it's the three-dimensional volume of time that grows. The present is the expanding surface of this temporal volume. As time grows, it pulls space along, driving cosmic expansion. Time becomes the engine of evolution, not just a passive backdrop. The universe isn't just expanding in space, it's growing in time. The ultimate goal in physics is a unified theory, one that describes both galaxies and subatomic particles. The three-dimensional time theory offers a new path. It doesn't force relativity and quantum mechanics together, but gives them a new arena. Relativity governs the main highway of time, the world of planets and stars. Quantum mechanics rules the side streets, particles small enough to access extra time dimensions. Their weirdness may be a result of moving in this larger timescape. The uncertainty we see is just our limited view of a higher dimensional dance. The 3D time model acts as a bridge, assigning each theory its place. Relativity describes the surface, quantum mechanics, the full volume. 
giving time extra depth could finally unite the big and the small. A beautiful idea must be testable to be science. The three-dimensional time theory must make predictions we can check. How could we test for hidden time dimensions? Klatechka suggests particle masses might subtly change under extreme conditions, something we could test in particle accelerators. The theory also predicts that fundamental constants might have varied over cosmic history. By studying light from distant galaxies, astronomers could search for tiny variations. Finding such changes would be revolutionary, evidence for a dynamic, evolving temporal structure. If confirmed, it would transform physics, opening new fields of research and technology. Our conception of time, space, and reality would be forever changed. It would be the dawn of a new era in our quest to understand the cosmos. What if time is not a line but a landscape? The past, present, and future become directions in a vast, three-dimensional space. The past isn't gone, it's just elsewhere in time. The future is a territory waiting to be explored. We may be confined to our timeline, but every moment could exist simultaneously in this cosmic block. The Big Bang is the South Pole of the timescape, the universe's fate, the North Pole. We travel one longitude on this temporal globe. The laws of physics might emerge from the geometry of this timescape. Our consciousness could be the spotlight moving across this vast map. The universe becomes a library of all moments, not just a story being told. We are explorers just beginning to map the shoreline of this hidden continent. We stand at a crossroads in our understanding of time. For centuries, time was the steady background beat of the universe. But the clash between our best theories shows we're missing something crucial. The three-dimensional time theory is a bold solution, asking us to question the ticking of the clock. Its value lies in inspiring us to think differently and ask, what if? Copernicus Einstein and now Kledechka each asked questions that changed our view of reality. The quest to understand time is the quest to understand ourselves and the cosmos. It takes imagination, courage, and relentless curiosity. So next time you look at a clock, see the mystery and the puzzle. Imagine living on the surface of an expanding ocean of time with hidden depths below. The cosmos isn't obliged to make sense to us, but it's our adventure to explore. The next tick of the clock is another step into the unknown.